Matthew chapter 13, Jesus teaches in parables. That day, Jesus went out of the house and was sitting by the sea. And large crowds gathered to him. So he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd was standing on the beach. And he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, the soil went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell beside the road, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on the rocky places, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, because they had no depth of soil. But when the sun had risen and they were scorched, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Others fell among the thorns, and the thorns came up and choked them out. The others fell on good soil and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus answered them, To you has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been granted. For whoever has, to him more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because while seeing they do not see, and while hearing they do not hear nor do they understand. In their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled, it says, You will keep on hearing, but will not understand. You will keep on seeing, but will not perceive. For the heart of this people has become dull, but their ears are scarcely here, and they have eyes, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they would see with their eyes hear with their ears and understand with their heart in return, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For truly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desire to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is the one on whom the seed was sown beside the road. The one on whom seed was sown on the rocky places, this is the man who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no firm root in himself, but is only temporary. And when affliction or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he falls away. And the one on whom seed was sown among the thorns, this is the man who hears the word. And the weary of the world and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. And the one on whom seed was sown on the good soil, This is a man who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and brings forth some a hundredfold, some sixty and some thirty. Tears among wheat. Jesus presented another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, His enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went away. But when the wheat sprouted and bore again bore grain, then the tares became evident also. The slaves of the landowner came and said to him, Sir, did you not go sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? Then he said to them, The enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? He said, No, for while you're gathering up the tares, you may also uproot the wheat with them. Allow both to grow together until harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather up the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them up. But gather the wheat into my barn. The mustard seed. He presented another parable to them, saying, 
The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. And this is smaller than the other seeds. And when it is full grown, it is larger than the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds, birds of the air come and nest in its branches. The leaven. He spoke another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three pecks of flour until it was all leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables, and he did not he did not speak to them without a parable. This was to feel, feel what was spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things hidden since the foundation of the world. The tears explained. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. And he said, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man, and the field is the word. And as for the good seed, these are the sons of the kingdom, and the tares are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are angels. So just as the tares are gathered up and burned with fire, so shall it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send forth his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all stumbling blocks and those who commit lawlessness, and will throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will come will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. Hidden treasure. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field, which a man found and hid again. And from joy over he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. A costly pearl. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. And upon finding it, finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. A dragnet. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea and gathering fish of every kind. When it is filled, they drew it up on the beach and they sat down and gathered the good fish into containers, but the bad they threw away. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth and take out the wicked from among the righteous, and will throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? They said to him, Yes. And Jesus said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has become a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like the head, is like a head of a household, who brings out of his treasure things new and old. When Jesus had finished these parables, parables, he departed from there. He came into his hometown and began teaching them in the synagogue, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to him, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief.